Well, a bit of a last minute scramble again, but the U.S. government remains open this morning as lawmakers were able to avoid a partial government shutdown overnight. Just minutes before the midnight deadline, President Biden signed a temporary funding bill to keep the government running. On Saturday, the House and Senate passed the 45-day spending bill. Joining us now from the nation's capital, U.S. Representative for Minnesota's 3rd Congressional District, Representative Dean Phillips. Thank you. We appreciate your time. We know it's been a busy, fluid weekend. Uh, let's start there. Kind of summarize it from your perspective. And are you surprised that it came down to the wire again? <laughs> Leah, after spending five years in Congress, uh, I expect nothing more to be forthright. You know, this is the same movie with the same ending, plays over time and time again. And uh, we should have done this more expeditiously, uh, more collegially, uh, and with more cooperation. And of course, at the end of the day, uh, it came down to the same thing I've been arguing since the very beginning, bipartisanship. Uh, when Democrats and Republicans work together, and there are many of us, most of us actually, Leah, that want to, when we do so, we can get the country's work done. And uh, that's, that's the mission of our jobs. That's the oath to the Constitution we took. Sadly, politics gets in the way. It's what George Washington warned us about. And I'm on a mission to remind people that uh, we can, we should, we must work together. And I remind everybody, this is just a 45-day stay, if you will. It just pushes uh, that bill uh, down the road for about a month and a half. We may find ourselves in the exact same position uh, in about a month and a half. And uh, we're working hard on the Problem Solvers Caucus on a bipartisan basis to ensure that we have a mechanism to prevent a shutdown because, Leah, it would be tragic for Minnesotans, for the country, and frankly, as it relates to our international standing around the world. A expand on that a bit, because yes, as you mentioned, this is a 45-day spending bill. It is just that. 45 days puts us to, what, mid-November-ish. Uh, what House rules specifically would you like to see change so this doesn't, we don't see this cycle on repeat? Yeah, well, I just proposed yesterday, in fact, uh, that we need to change the House rules to ensure that a majority of the Congress, Democrats and Republicans, can affect anything it wishes, the body wishes, uh, without having to work through a single individual, in this case, the Speaker of the House. You know, the Speaker's job is to represent the House, not the majority party, not a Democratic party or Republican party. But sadly, the demands of politics uh, get in the way constantly. So I'm gonna propose a rules change uh, that allows anything, any business to be brought to the floor as long as a majority of the United States House demands it. Right now, the only mechanism to do so requires about a 30-day ripening period. Uh, and that's right, everybody listening, we can't do anything without waiting 30 days. So when we face a crisis, there's nothing we can do, even a supermajority, three quarters of the House. We were held hostage by about a dozen people, and we cannot afford that. It's not what our founders wanted. It's not what the Constitution outlined. It's a function of House rules, and we have to change them. And I'm going to do my best. Switching gears a bit, but also making headlines earlier this week, you were on a podcast in which you said you are still considering a run for president. Is that true? That is true. And you know, I, I listen to people. You know, my theme is representation begins with listening, and everyone's invited. And that's how I conduct myself. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to recognize the country is displeased uh, with its choices. Uh, Democrats want to see some competition, some alternatives. Uh, not saying that I'm the only one, I just think there should be many on that stage. And that is my call to action uh, for both parties to promote competition, uh, not to deny it, uh, and to ensure Americans have a choice. You know, I'm among the many tens of millions who've been disappointed uh, by what has manifested itself in a system that I still believe to be the very best in the world. So I'll be making that decision soon. And if I do so, it is to provide an option to ensure that we have choices, uh, and most of all, uh, to do my hardest, my best work to bring the country together at a time where I think that is the biggest threat to the United States of America. Uh, last question, but soon. Any hints as to when soon might be? Right now, Leah, all I'm focused on is ensuring the government stays open, that it starts functioning better, uh, and I'll be making that decision soon. But right now, my attention is wholly uh, on trying to find resolutions so that within these 45 days uh, that we can actually bring the U.S. Congress together, uh, keep our doors open, keep people paid, and keep the most vulnerable in Minnesota and around the country uh, supported. That's my focus right now, as it should be. Okay. Well, I had to try. Thank you, Representative Phillips. <laughs> Appreciate your time this morning and your willingness uh, in this very fluid weekend to take some time for us. Anytime, Leah. Thank you. Thank you.